Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old nuzlocking action. If you missed the previous episode, and I'm just starting from here from last time, we went on a bug catching contest. I tried to look for a Sue of Bell. Both of them went and blew up in my face, and now we're here to continue on with the journey to go to the next gym leader. I don't think anyone needs um, any healing, but the plan is currently to get Wong to love us. And evolve into an Espeon. I, mean, I know it's dark out, but trust me, when it's time for him to evolve, he will. It will be daytime. Oh, let me go back on my bike. Of course, the problem with this is that since there's no Soup Bell, the best way to do it is to battle a whole bunch. And Eevee is Eevee, so. That's not good. I got another berry, though. Well, you know what? If I. The berry's not gonna help if he dies, but if he eats it during battle. That at least give me a little bit of frame of mind or something. But anyway, yeah, that's the that's today's video. We're gonna move forward to the next gym. And this is a reminder that if you like this video, please leave a like. Comment about the stuff that's going going on currently. Tell me how you're doing, tell me how you feeling about the team, stuff like that. I'll always listen, I'll always respond. Oh, it's a big mouse. Okay. Okay, so I know for a fact he has Hyper Fang, so guess who's coming in? Kid Fisto. I don't know if he has Super Fang, though. Super Fang would actually legitimately be scary, because uh, that just deals half damage no matter what. But let's see if we can... Yeah, he's not very good. Pop Pop? Damn! The hard Pop Pop. It's the big Pop. Why are you popping off on, like, Eradicate? <laughs> Why can't you actually do that in a boss fight? <laughs> gym battle, I should say. Because there's no boss fights in. I mean, gym battles are basically just glorified boss fights. Who is that? That looks like a beauty. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Zip! Say hello to my Wong. Ha! <laughs> Dumb joke. I'm sorry, Wong, if you're watching this. Hop it. Hip hop. All right, let's see. I'm gonna hit him with a quick sand attack and see what moves it has. It's a hop up, so I assume it knows flail. Knows tackle. That don't hurt. That don't hurt me at all. Tackle. Um, the smarter move would have been used to growl to get its slow ass attack even lower. I remember as a kid not being sure how to train a Hoppip because it seemed like they just died so easy. Skip Loom. Okay. Please don't. Okay. Oh, thank God. You're also just weak. Whoa. Rave Dance. All right. Your low attack fell even lower. Don't you tail whip me. What tail do you have? Come on. Synthesis? You know photosynthesis? Oh, it's nighttime, so you get less uh, less HP from that. I forgot. You can use Tail Whip on me, I Tail Whip you. Just like one Tail Whip on your friend. Tackle. Man. I always liked how Skip Loom look looked, but I don't actually like using Skip Loom or any of its hop it or any of its evolutions at all. We're fine. Wong keeping it up. Good. I swear I'm not doing these on purpose. Beauty. I'm glad to see I see your Pokemon. Thank you, girl. Can I have that number, though? No number get. That's a... It's a damn shame. Hello, Milk. Milk Tank Moo. Okay, so I did read that you can increase friendship by drinking milk, so... Let's get our boy Wong some delicious milk. Hello, ma'am, can I have your milk? Our milk even goes to Kanto. Oh. Uh, sir, can I have your milk? <gasps> Bonus ever wanted to drink. I'll give me lots of milk. What? How do I. You want a berry, sir? Moo. Yes. Are they not feeding you? What monsters are these people? 
Yes. Oh, damn it. I need a regular ass berry. She needs lots of berries. Wong, remove your berry, sir. This milk tank needs your berry. Eat the berry. Moo. Yes. Damn it. Does no one else have a berry on him real quick? Kifisto, do you have a berry? Do you still have the quick claw? You still have the quick claw. Ah, damn it. Alright. I'll be back for you later. Let me say no. Do I have like a potion or something? No. Alright then. If it's a bad Pokemon, then Wong will just um, switch out to Kit Fisto, who will save his butt. Psychic type, huh? Drowsy. Really? Slowpoke? Slowpoke doesn't deal a buttload of damage, right? Let's find out. Sand attack. Oh god. I feel like one of these days... Well, I have to wait for Confusion. Confusion is actually going to be the test. Okay. Tackle. Wong doing pretty good, I must say. I am fr I'm afraid for Wong's life, but I don't feel like he's, like, really showing the fact that he's an Eevee, and I'm constantly afraid that he's just going to get one-shot by a random Pokemon. He seems to be doing perfectly fine, to be honest. Maybe it's because of all, like, I'm just afraid for all normal types until later on in the actual game, where, in the generation, where they become, hmm. Okay, Jolene. Please don't know Psychic, because that will actually really hurt Jolene. Body Slam? Okay. Absorb. That would have actually legitimately hurt uh, Wong, so good on me for switching up. Oh god, this is what I was afraid of. Shit. Alright, someone else's need to come in. Hello, Nightmare! <laughs> go, Nightmare, go! Go, Nightmare, go, Nightmare, go! You can't confuse a Nightmare. The Nightmare just is. Please be faster. Yes. Yes. Now. Go. Pound it. Uh. Hit him. Hit him where they sleep, Nightmare. I like that Nightmare so far. <laughs> All he's done is made Pokemon fall asleep and then slap him in the face while they were sleeping. <laughs> Nightmare's real, uh... I don't know if coward's the right word, but he should have... He sure knows how to fight in his own special way. Oh shit. Shit. That's really bad. Oh god. Nightmare, is this where your dream ends? Okay, no, thank god. Oh come on! Now it doesn't affect it for some freaking reason? Come on. Hypnosis, thank you. Thank you! I feel like the right answer is to just flash it a whole bunch in the face so I can switch out to a better Pokemon, but the Pound thing seems to be working out pretty well for me. The Nightmare Pound. The... The brand new trademark. Look forward to the Nightmare Pound t-shirts coming soon. It's just gonna be a big picture of Nightmare, and on the front it's gonna be him using Hypnosis, and in the back it's just him pounding. How you want to interpret my art of how this shirt is going to look like. This horrifying nightmare of a shirt. It's also going to look like a Junji, uh, Junji Ito. Ito, I said it like a Spanish name. Um, the um, the horror uh, manga maker. That's how the shirt's going to look. I mean, should I even bother? It's not even going to do that much. I'm just going to keep pounding you. You're awake now, but it's too late. The nightmare has already grasped you. Nightmare. Look forward. The Nightmare Pound, coming to a store near you. Alright, let's see. Not to be confused with the British Pound, which is a form of currency. Let's 
go up here. And we'll go heal up, and then we'll go back to fighting. Oh, come on. I already caught you. Leave me alone. I'm gonna switch to Kid Fisto because I think that will level Wong up, but otherwise, I have no reason to fight this Meowth right now. Oh, you're gonna growl at me? That's real cute. It's real cute of you. But can you stop a pop pop? This is. A <laughs> I don't know why you're suddenly going so ham on these dudes, Kid Fisto. It's probably because he realizes that he's no longer the front and center, so now he feels like when his. Um, when it, he's like All Might, basically. Fist Might. He just shows up when I need him the most and saves the day, and then everyone loves him the most. So the second that he's off the screen, it's like, what's Kid Fisto doing? And the answer is, hanging out. The funny thing is, is that he also shares the same weaknesses as Nux, so it's water types. Slowpoke actually ends up being super scary because he is uh, half water, half psychic. The two things that's like... Oh, my one, um, grass Pokemon that- my one thing that's used to beat, um, water types. The one thing it doesn't want to fight is a water psychic. And it's literally the only water psychic in the entire game, I think. At this- at this moment. Yeah, besides Golduck. Actually, I think- isn't Psyduck not, um, psychic until he evolves into Golduck? Or is Golduck the same? Like, Golduck is also all water. They're actually not water psychic. Something like that. Something I can't remember. Magnemite. Alright, Magnemite. Oh. Remember when I said Wong is real close to leveling up? Turns out, now's the time. Ooh, Sonic Boom. That's the one move that could actually hurt Kid Fisto. Because it always deals 20. Pop, pop. Some slight respect for the man who... Injured Kid Fisto. That's the most damage Kid Fisto has taken, I think, in um, from an actual attack in a very long time. Ooh, yes, that's perfect. Yes. Let's get rid of Tail Whip. And Wong learned how to quick attack. Okay, let's go up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was almost about to fall down there and just completely ruin all the progress I made. I mean, I just want to go to the next uh, town to say that I made it. Oh yeah, we're in the next town. Oh god. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, thank god. Whoo! Ugh. Boo hoo, just let sick Pokemon gam. Okay, fine. Legends wants the Pokemon to go to the coronavirus. What a punk ass. All people deserve medical attention, Legends. You would know that if you stop focusing on your Legends Limited. All people deserve equal treatment. That's my extremely cold take. Well, apparently not. Whatever. This is escapism. I don't want to start going on a really weird route in the Nuzlocke. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of today's episode, everyone. Thank you for coming in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, if you end up liking it, slap that like button up top. Show me the, the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.